hello treasures welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great thanks for stopping by in today's video i will show you how i made this plantain flour with just one ingredient here i have my two bunches of unripe plantain or green plantain as some people call it so the next thing i'll do now before we start is to wash them so i'll take them to the tap and wash today i'm making this outside my kitchen <laughs> the plantain is much so i decided to wash them in our outside tap After washing the plantains, I'll then go ahead and peel off the skin of the plantain. I'm done peeling off the skin of the plantain so the next step now is to slice or grate it I'm going to use my grater to do this so I'll use my grater now and grate the plantain into small or smaller sizes you can also use knife and the slices but grater is faster for me so that's what I'm using At a point, I had to sit down to do this because <laughs> body no be wood. <laughs> So after slicing all the plantains, the next step is to dry it and we are using sun method to dry it. You can dry this in your dehydrator but I don't have dehydrator and so we are using the sun. The weather now is very hot and sunny so and this is going to dry before you know it. So just spread it. I had to cut this is rice bag. <laughs> So I had to cut the rice bag, wash and spread it on the sun so that I can use it as my mat for the drying of the plantains. This one, if I start using threads, it's going to take all the threads in my kitchen. So I just had to devise this method. After some hours, I stirred it around so that the sun could also get to the ones under it. So this is me just stirring it around so that the sun will get to all of them.
and this is the evening of the same day you can see that the plantain is already dried it's well dried though but i'm not going to grind it this way i will still dry it tomorrow at least dry it for two days before grinding it and this has dried this is the third day you can hear the sound it's all well dried now So after drying the plantain, the next step and the final step is it is to grind our plantain flakes into powder or flour. Grind it into flour. I'm going to grind this with my blender. But if you are in Nigeria, you can also do this in the market. There are people in the market that grind dry things like this. I'm going to be grinding it batch by batch. So this the size of my blender. So I'm not going to overcrowd it. It's already overcrowded. We're going to grind this like up to one, two, three, up to four, five times. So we're grinding it like that. But if you don't want to go through this stress, you can just take it to your local mill and they will grind it for you. As I'm grinding it, I'll also be saving it so that we can get smooth flour. So here is our plantain flour. I'll continue to grind the rest. I'm done grinding the plantain and here we have our plantain flour. So the next thing I'll do is to transfer or pour it into a bigger or wider bowl or tray. So it will cool down very well before transferring into an airtight container or bag thank you all for watching i hope you found this video useful thank you please don't forget to like share and uh, subscribe and to my old subscribers thank you so very much until i see you all again in my next video remain blessed and safe i love you all bye bye